Hello everyone, I'm Esther from Manage Engine and today we'll be talking about iStudy in malware. iStudy is a modular banking trojan that targets user financial information and also acts as a dropper for other malware. It uses man in the browser attack to steal financial information, including login credentials, for online banking sessions. Once it successfully completes its initial attack, it then uses the stolen information to take over banking accounts and automate fraudulent transactions. iStudy is primarily dropped as a secondary payload from other malware, notably Emotet. iStudy uses multiple injection methods to evade antivirus and other malware detection methods such as injecting itself into the OS memory. And it also doesn't help that the malware authors keep updating Iced ID regularly to increase persistence and also bypass any new detection methodologies. This malware was initially discovered back in 2017 and seemed to be mostly targeted at banks in North America. It also targets mostly corporate bank accounts, payment card providers, mobile service providers, payroll, webmail, and e-commerce websites. After the delivery of the malware on the victim's network and ICID is in the victim system, it will then carry out attacks through two ways, namely redirection for payment card or webmail sites and web injection for online banking portals. When the user opens a web browser, it triggers the download of a configuration file containing the Trojan's targets from its command and control server. For its redirection routine, Iced ID sets up a local proxy running on port 49157 that intercepts and funnels web traffic, which is then exfiltrated to its command and control server. The redirection scheme attempts to look as legitimate as possible by displaying the bank's legitimate URL along with its correct SSL certificate. And all of this is achieved through a live connection with the actual bank's website. Users are then prompted to submit their credentials on this fake website, which are then sent to the attacker's server. Apart from this, social engineering tactics are also used to trick the victim into giving more credentials such as authorization details that can be used to compromise user accounts. So how do organizations detect this type of malware? A sim solution with detection mechanisms such as threat intelligence can detect malicious files and attachments in your network. It can also block all malicious URLs that enter your network thus ensuring that your network is protected from web browser attacks such as this one. Thank you.